magnet has two poles, a north and a south. Cut a bar magnet in half and you wind up with two magnets, each of which has its own north and south pole. But physicists have long speculated that unattached north and south poles, known as magnetic monopoles, might exist in nature. Monopole hunters have searched for these particles in cosmic ray detectors, Antarctic ice, particle colliders, and even inside samples of moon dust. They haven't found any yet, but a few years ago, physicists managed to create a special kind of magnetic monopole. This particle exists inside complex crystals called spin ices. The atoms in a spin ice are arrayed in four-sided pyramids called tetrahedra. The monopoles are created between atoms in the tetrahedra. But they only arise when the magnetic fields of the atoms in the crystal are aligned in just the right way. Physicists use arrows to illustrate an atom's magnetic field. Each arrow is centered on an atom and points in the direction of its north pole. These arrows are also called spins. The four spins in each tetrahedron naturally orient themselves into a particular low-energy configuration. Two spins will point toward the center, and two spins will point out. In the middle, the magnetic fields cancel out. But if there is enough thermal energy, an atom spin can flip into a less favorable, higher energy state. When this happens, a pair of monopoles forms, both a north and a south. If there is a net north magnetic charge, a north magnetic monopole forms. A south magnetic monopole forms where there is an excess of southerly magnetic fields. Though monopoles are not technically particles, they move and interact with each other just like them. If you apply a magnetic field, you can make the monopoles move by causing other spins to flip. The two monopoles will separate from one another and move through the sample, jumping from one tetrahedron to another. This process leaves a trail, or string, of flip spins, a line that connects the pair. Physicists can detect these strings by shining neutrons through the spin ice crystal. But, unlike electrons in a wire, you can only send one monopole down any particular path. That's because as the monopole travels, the trail of flip spins from the first monopole creates configurations that could stop a second monopole in its tracks. Here's an example of what can happen. We want this south monopole to move to the right, away from the north monopole it formed with. To do this, you can flip either the lower right or the upper right spin. If the spin on the lower right flips, the spins will go back to the two-in, two-out configuration and both monopoles will disappear. If the upper right spin flips, all four spins around the south monopole will point out. This creates a double-charged south monopole and another north magnetic monopole, but nothing will have moved. It's pretty much impossible to get a lot of monopoles to move with a steady direct current but monopoles can still move backwards and forwards in a material. That leaves the window open for new technologies based on alternating magnetic currents, new sorts of magnetronic devices that we can only begin to imagine. For IEEE Spectrum, I'm Rachel Cortland.